Welcome to F260, week 35, John chapter 13, entitled, The Cock Shall Not Crow Till Thou Hast Denied Me Thrice. Highlight verse <clears throat> is, um, uh, highlight verse is John 13, 37 and 38. Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. <clears throat> Explaining this, Jesus foreknew and foretold Peter's triple denial of him. Even though Peter asserted his willingness to die for his master if need be. Applying this, some biased scholars mistakenly claim that the differences between the various gospel accounts of Peter's betrayal involve genuine discrepancies and unresolvable contradictions. But it is perfectly clear that none of the statements are contradictory. When they are lined up in parallel columns, their rich wealth of information gives us a fuller account than could be gathered from any single one of them. Such a comparison of the four Gospels yields the following composite narrative of Peter's miserable experience during Christ's trial before Caiaphas. Peter was admitted to the outer court of the high priest after John had spoken to the doorkeeper. And after Peter entered, he sat down by a fire to warm himself on that chilly night. But a girl who served as doorkeeper on the inner side of the gate asked him point blank, aren't you one of his disciples? To this, Peter uttered his first denial, I am not. At this point, one of the men of the group leveled an accusing finger at Peter and declared, you are one of them. Others also picked up the accusation. You too were with Jesus, the Galilean. They followed this charge with a forthright question. Are you one of his disciples? With mounting intensity, Peter replied, man, I am not. I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. After this second denial, a relative of the servant Peter had wounded at Gethsemane spotted him and shouted out, didn't I see you in the garden with him? At this point, Peter began to panic. So he, so he broke out into cursing and swearing. By God, I don't even know the man you're talking about. As soon as he had uttered this lie, Peter heard a rooster crowing. It was at that moment that Jesus himself, who was still standing before Caiaphas on the trial, looked over in Peter's direction and their eyes met. Covered with shame and full of self-loathing, Peter hurried out of, the pri out of the high priest's palace and sat down to weep and sob his contrition before God. My response, in conclusion, the four testimonies of the evangelists contain no contradictions, even though the information they yield may be somewhat diverse. There is no good ground for concluding that the differences between the Gospels involve genuine discrepancies or unresolvable contradictions. Amen. God bless. Much of the information in this video was obtained from Arches Encyclopedia of Bible Difficulties.